You are here playing this game, but I'm just wondering how long that blue guy in the menu has been waving. That's what random chicken asked in the last video. It's pretty funny. I mean, how long has he been waving? So we haven't won as Saitama and we haven't won as Beefcake the Wrestler. Now I like how his passive ability is rock hard, but what we're gonna be doing today is hunting for that elusive second new boss who has some seriously dark and magical powers. So we'll go in with Beefcake here. We'll flex, we'll kick and miss, and then we'll do a little punch, then we do the elbow slam, not the body slam as you guys pointed out in my last video. All right, so what do we got? We could do another get ripped. Why not? We'll do another get ripped. I really dislike it, so you know what? We'll just make it even more challenging. Don't punch me. I'm gonna do a leap punch. I feel like that's pretty wrestling-esque. Oh, that was a nice elbow slam. Yeah, they just kick my butt when I miss. All right, we're gonna grab these two. But yeah, so the other boss that I'm talking about, like, I think he's an actual necromancer. And that's gonna be the challenge today is trying to find him. We will definitely get shredded. Elbow slam! But unfortunately, elbow slam isn't like a crowd control. Oh, there we go. That was nice. And we're definitely gonna take this. Can miss one attack per floor without... Look at that. We're getting better. Okay. I will not be denied my glory. Now, here's the other thing. People were talking about, hey, I rarely use time control by pressing Y. <laughs> oh, I just realized that one of the bosses actually uses the get ripped. So this is Smarty Pants, who I hate because he got Jedi mind tricks and stuff. See, look at that. I always hate when he does that. However, we've taken him down a lot so far. There we go, and he's dead. Okay, so maybe Beefcake has just what it takes to get past this guy. Now we're gonna get swole for six seconds. I've actually never upgraded that before. Like, is that, is that new? Oh my gosh, getting swole for six seconds mean we're bigger, right? Okay. That wasn't six seconds. Look at this. Elbow slam that guy. We've got some health over there, so you're fired. I definitely like you're fired because it's basically like, you know what? We have to fight some Jedi trained people. We're going to be Jedi trained ourselves. Oh, and we're like, what, invincible during this time? Did I totally underestimate the sheer power of beefcake? Surprise, mother I think what I don't like about it is that I'm just not good Ooh. enough when I use him. Get shredded, become invulnerable for six seconds. Or we could do downsizing, which is a pretty good crowd control, which is what we will do. Look at that, we did become invincible for a little bit, didn't we? Boom, body slam, okay. Now it doesn't look like this guy is the boss, so don't worry, we will see the new boss at some point in this video. Like, if he does exist, I wanna find him. And I'm gonna increase, uh, decrease the incoming damage. Basically, that's gonna be our idea here. What we're gonna be going for is basically, you know what? There's different ways to win. And one of the ways we could win is just by decreasing the number of incoming damage, right? Like, to make it as minimal as possible. You're fired. How are you alive? I just fired you. Dude, eight damage. This guy's got a gun. He's fired, though. Get off my head. Alright, now that's the big guy, boss. Who's the big guy now? Wow. Oh my god. We're just running through this, aren't I? We'll take extra rerolls. On the off chance that we're able to, yeah, get swole for six seconds. Okay. If we could combine those, would that double up to like 12 seconds? These are questions that we have, and we want answers. What? How do they all live? Elbow slam this guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Beefcake, I think I just underestimated how simply powerful he is. Yeah, we're definitely healing on a roll. We'll fire all those guys. We'll dodge that guy with a gun. Look at that. I blocked incoming bullets. Normally they do what? 
five damage a shot. We'll go from stamp to stomp, as opposed to stomp to stomp. And we're full health, so we'll just take fast track XP. Now, this is the ambush spot. This doesn't look like we've gotten the new boss either. The hatchet boys are here. Oh God, oh God. They're all fired. Ow, that really hurt. I'm trying to go down the freaking ladder and get over here to get my upgrade, my promotion. Earthquake. Elbow slam. <laughs> and that guy just fell down the ladder and he's dead. All right, this is working out. And our combo meter is doing pretty good. You're fired. All right, there's the ninja. Okay, so we can increase our max health. Now, the suggestion was that when I'm fighting this guy is when I should be doing slow motion. I never thought to do that, and it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, God. And I, I think I missed twice. Are they all fired? Look at how big we're getting. I'm turning myself into a giant. And there goes my combo meter. I'm really only hitting him with the, the earthquake and the you're fired, ain't I? Oh, 17. Oh, I was so big, my elbow hit the table. Jeez, this guy's elusive. I hate fighting him so badly. <laughs> He's just a combo breaker. I'm glad your fire doesn't have an ammo count or else we would be screwed. We'll do a spin punch because I feel like after that we get a vortex punch. I need ammunition badly because we can't get swollen. That helps us. Uh-oh. Big guy guns is coming. There we go. We had to wait for him to come down the ladder before I could fire him. Stupid. <laughs> Elbow slammed down. Okay, there's the big chonkus. We'll heal on some of these rolls. And then I think I do want to get shredded. Force choke. We'll ignore the first damage on any floor. That's all well and good. Look at that. Jedi mind tricking two of them. All right, this will be interesting. No ammo fighting the big guy. Big guy versus big guy. Beefcake versus big boy. In the Oxygon today. There we go. I don't want to use any range this time. So we'll take the sure you can. Actually, just sure you can upgrade to range. <laughs> That'd be ironic. Y'all toasted McRoasted. Yeah. yeah. It is working. This is all going to plan. I think we're almost about through. No, it goes to levitate objects, huh? The hatchet boys are here. The gun boys are here too. And we'll Jedi mind trick all of them. <laughs> I guess it's more Jedi force choke, right? But you know what? When I'm fighting, I get a little bit excited. All right, this... I wonder if this is going to be my record. I wonder, does it keep record? Whoa. That allowed us to get through his... All right, sure you can. Dude, this is working, other than the fact that I'm missing my vortex punches. We'll get this ammo. Uh-oh. Now he starts shooting. Are those hatchet guys? Those guys look a little bit bigger than normal, I think. Maybe he's like, you know what? This guy's getting big. I'm gonna bring in some big reinforcements myself. Sure you can. Uh-oh. Dive, dive, dive! <laughs> I fled and it actually helped me dodge one of the bullets. The other one I took on the nose. Oh god, I, w I wish I could hit. No! I wanna dodge the bullets! I'm swimming at you! There we go, big punch out of the map. Earthquake to stun. And I miss a vortex punch. Alright, we'll go over here, get this health to keep us in this battle. And we're getting to this point. You know you're doing good if you start summoning the bodies. Like, all right, I'm just going to mosh pit and try to stay over them. Okay, that was a bad idea. Yeah, you want some of this, boy? <laughs> okay, that was actually one of the easier ones, and we did it in just under 10 minutes. So we finally won with Beefcake, but I just really, really, really want to see this second boss. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make sure that this next playthrough that you're gonna see gets it. He might be hiding in a higher difficulty though. All right, so we'll try the $15 difficulty and I'm gonna use the guns guy. I have so many guns <laughs> and I got a lucky bullet. 
All right, this is, this is going to be a really good playthrough. I can just feel it. Now, here's the sweeper boss again, if you missed it. One of the new guys. Now, apparently, he's good at blocking range. Well, he's, he can block some range, but not all of it, apparently. <laughs> he is dead. Now, all of my pistols are Uzis. <laughs> I feel like Goro, but, like, instead of just using my fists, I have four submachine guns in each hand. Oh, this is it. Okay, so this is the new boss. Notice how when a body is normally dead, like this guy down here, they're grayed out, right? These guys are not grayed out, which means they're either alive or something more sinister. So they kind of just like come to, they're like zombies and they're trying to like grab you. Now, I think what we could see in a future update would be like that there were zombies, right? But instead of being red, they would be green. So this is what it is. It's like a horde of undeath, all grabbing you. Oh, there's the boss. Okay, we'll take extra rerolls. There's the boss. He is a zombie, I think. Well, luckily, guns are good against zombies. So that's where he was, the necromancer zombie boss. Oh my God, that was nuts. Okay, so find 50% more packages yes please i want to have a very strong big package while going through this level so that's what the other secondary boss was in this update i like i think the 15 dollar difficulty is the sweet spot especially with this guy so now we'll just turn all these things to miniguns we'll take that health and we'll go get this box uh just fast track xp why not i don't think i'm gonna need to use slow motion but you know what just because we'll do slow motion here this guy's gonna come out of the window the other guy's gonna come out of the elevator boom gonna take some uzis it's kind of more sort of looks like an mp5 don't you think oh my god so many miniguns hey ha oh uzi buddy i haven't seen you in a while i'll do reducing incoming damage dude Oh my god, did you see that? I actually punched that box out the window. So that's unfortunate. We just lost the box, but I'm already at combo meter 183. I should be able to kill this boss with just one minigun shot. I think. I'm at 198. Oh, oh! Hey, you're not allowed to fight back. Oh. There we go. That worked. Take the reroll. Do we have health on rerolls? We do not. <laughs> another another gun. Oh, that's perfect. I have so many guns. This might be the easiest run through. Increase max health? Yeah, definitely we want that. Oh my gosh. It's just, we see the necro boss. And I even have it so like, if I miss my attack, I don't, I, I, I can miss one attack rather. <laughs> it's just ridiculous and I'm just upgrading them all to miniguns and I've got an incredible power meter and I got lucky bullets so I just keep getting bullets I'll bunch them up and then try to minigun as many as I can mini minigun mini minigun why don't they call it a minigun because it fires many bullets not necessarily mini bullets I mean, you can't argue with that logic oh god watch out for the gun guy I'll increase max health again Oh God, oh God, this is getting a little bit crazy. Oh my God. How many miniguns do I have? Oh God, those are Uzis. Oh, I lost my combo meter, but I jumped out of a window to safety. Was it worth it? I don't think so. Cause we had a combo meter of like 300. Shoot, shoot that guy first. Hey, oh, I guess they were like standing to the side, right? Oh, I gotta go get my upgrade. Dang it, I had like 300. Dang. That is unfortunate, man. It was going so swimmingly. But I'm really, really happy that we got to see the enemy boss. Oh, God, I missed with a minigun. Hatchet boys, hatchet boys. Oh, my God. Whoa, there. Oh, God. Okay. What? Who keeps stunning me? That's new. Ignore first damage on any floor. Yes, please. All right, I got to get up there. Oh, please don't kill me. Take extra rerolls. Oh god. At least they can't throw the hatchets. Why is that one guy just standing there menacingly? He's like, hey, come shoot me, please. All right, I will oblige you. This man wants to die for country. 
oblige him. What movie was that? Oh, it was Brad Pitt and the Inglorious Bastels. All right. Ground pound. Oh, what? Oh God, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I gotta get that, I gotta get that health. There we go. He should be pretty much dead. I've got full ammo. Minigun to the face. Is he dead yet? There he is. I knocked him out the window. Oh my god, we barely survived that. All right, we'll do a cannonball. <laughs> yes, health. The ninja boss is always the point where I'm like, am I gonna make it or am I not? Suspicious stockpile, most definitely. You know what? We should have a secret Death Star level. You know how like they have the trash shoot? Uzis. Like, and then the, the little tentacle thing. You know, that'd be kind of cool. The little eyeball. Oh god, get out of there. Oh god, I need that. Another machine gun. There's a box down here. I wonder, is there still time? Yes! That makes me very, very happy. Okay, it was XP, as you can see by all the dudes running through that. How many, how many guns do I have? All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guns. Six of them are mini guns. All right, so what we want is just to take out this guy, run out the window, reset, and then hide over here. Oh, I got a punch. There we go, he's dead. And make that a minigun. <laughs> oh, the necro boss didn't have a chance, although he's probably the most original boss in my opinion. Hey, little guy with a pistol. Don't bring a pistol to a minigun fight, or as we clearly pointed out using deductive logic and reasoning, a minigun fight. <laughs> I have many, many guns. I have many guns, and then each many gun fires many bullets. So it's like double mini. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just so happy. This is normally like when my playthroughs fall apart when I get a little too confident, right? Increase max health? Yeah. And then we gotta upgrade all these things. Can I upgrade suspicious stockpile? I literally have one move. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Ow, that hurt. That could have been much worse. And it almost was. Oh my god, we're about to fight the boss, and I'm, I'm on half health. Thanks for waiting upstairs for me, big guy. Where are you coming at? There's my health kit. Oh, I missed. All right, we'll hide. I think some of those are bigger guys. They might have hatchets. We can win this. Okay, only one guy to hide behind. I'm gonna hide behind the ground. Ha! Surprise! Oh, get the health. All right, miniguns will definitely help out here. All right, we gotta get out of there. Get out of there. That is it, the boss is dead. Combo meter of 166, maybe? And we did it in about 10 minutes, and furthermore, we saw the new boss, the necromancer, the guy who raises the coworkers from the dead, and basically they're zombies because they're grabbing at you, they're biting at you. What I would love to see is them being green. We're gonna help Jeff Bezos up, and you know what? We're gonna accept your apology this time. We got the good ending. But, so I think that zombie boss, I mean, I don't know if it's random or if he only pops up on the $15 or up difficulty level. But, thank you for watching another episode of Stick It to the Stick Man. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and you do want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.